Good morning. This is the screen that you're going to end up with. And I believe it's the second one from the top where you can see I have zeros there, 726-02-01. It took me a while to get that code to come off the internet. Originally, I just I used this uh, little YouTube clip, got right to the point where I could disable my TPMS, and it didn't work. I didn't have the line of code that I needed. So I didn't want to just jack around with all of these, but finally I found on the internet a couple of weeks later the, that 726-0201. Now I have no idea whether it works for any other car than this particular 2010 uh, Ford Fusion or not, but that's what I did. I zeroed that thing out and it disabled the onboard TPMS system so that the light didn't come on. And if you ask me, replacing a sensor that costs more than your tire, and that sensor is supposed to watch that tire, is kind of bogus. And that's why I wanted to shut the thing off, and I didn't want to put tape on my over over the light and watch that thing for all this time. So I, I made some effort to disable it. And whatever car you have, Toyota, Chevy, Ford, it's going to take a little fooling around probably to disable that TPMS. When you get a new when you get a new car for five to seven years, everything's going to be fine. But when those sensors start to go, they get pretty expensive. For, for going to the dealer and replacing four sensors uh, at Ford is about six hundred and fifty bucks. And I think all the other car companies are going to be right in the same. So what I did is I went to Amazon and I got that this little rascal right here. I don't know if you could see it or not. May not come out too well. This is a Time 8 TPMS. And you plug that little monitor screen in there and you put in their little adapters on your tire stems. And you wait a day or two and the rascal starts to work. They claim it works in 10 or 15 minutes. You got to be patient. Once it works, it works pretty well. It works better than the stupid $600, $800 system that's on this Ford of mine. 70 bucks. Even if it went last one year, you come out ahead. This thing gives you the tire pressures. The one that came with this car that's so expensive, just a light comes on, tells you that you A, either have a bad sensor or B, you have a low tire. This is a lot better system, I think. But it will take you a fair amount of jacking around with your computer to get the thing disabled, unless you know somebody who's real handy with this stuff. So good luck. There's a couple of links here that might that tell you how to, what module to buy. If you look under here, see the cord and all that. I've got one of those adapters that for the onboard diagnostic. Mine is an ELM-127, I think. And then you download this thing called Forescan from the internet. And you run it, and that goes on to your Windows computer. If you're using Linux or Chrome, I don't know if there's an easy way to go. So anyway, good luck. I don't know if this is helpful or not. But the main thing is, once, you, once your system goes in your new car after five to seven years, I would definitely switch to one of these less expensive systems than replacing these internally mounted TPMS sensors that every single car seems to have. They're, to me, they're, they're a ripoff without a whole lot of extra value. I now do like having this thing because it helps me keep an eye on my tires. I've never really needed it, but it certainly is handy.